हेलो एवरीवन माय नेम है शिवम कुमार वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल सेल्स फॉर सनारियोज सो टुडे व्हाट वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न इज वी आर लर्निंग अबाउट द चैटर ओवरव्यू दैट इज द पार्ट वन सो व्हाट माय प्लान इज टू आई विल बी पोस्टिंग टू मोर वीडियोस रिलेटेड टू चैटर दैट इज द वेरी पावरफुल टूल दैट इज द कलोबरेशन टूल इन सेल्स फोर्स इन present business scenarios most of our customer are using charter very rigorously to improve their businesses to improve their productivity to improve the conversation between their sales rep sales agent like this so what we can do is i'll be posting first part in the overview that what is charter how we can use charter and what are the functionality of charters and then what i am doing is that i'll be posting two more videos related to charter itself in the upcoming days so that we can be able to understand more about the beautiful functionality of charter so let's get started so first question came in your mind is that what is charter in salesforce so charter is a salesforce real time collaboration application that lets you use a work together talk to each other share information just like the facebook as on facebook what you guys can do you can comment post like share everything you can do in chatter as well so chatter also connects and engages motivate user to work efficiently across the organization regardless of roles or location chatter lets your user collaborate on sales opportunity service cases campaigns whatever object you want to like to have and projects with embedded apps and custom actions as well so that is the very powerful functionality of salesforce so now here we are coming some to some of the consideration related to charter so some of the consideration i have taken from the salesforce documentation i am uh, i am also adding that documentation link into my description so you guys can go there and check there so chatter is available on a per organization basis only users within the same salesforce organization can communicate with each other through chatter you can add people outside your company email domain to use chatter in your organization when you add external users to a group that you own or manage they appear as customer users so those all are the customers users so those are uh, all are the external users so chatter is available to customer users partner users and community as well but it's not available to portal users and partner portal or customer portals some third party browser plugins and extension can interfere within the functionality of chatter if you experience malfunctions or inconsistent behavior with chatter disable the browser plugins and extensions and try again because due to some kind of external intervention these type of malfunctioning sometime will be happen but yeah we have solution for that also what we can do is we can disable those browser plugins or extensions and we can try the functionality later and that functionality will work fine so now here come some of the feature of charter and salesforce so every organization have 5000 free charter licenses for the users in charter every user has a profile page with the work information they can add their profiles and information related to them in charter we can also create different type of groups public group private group broadcast group private group with customer public group also as well so people can follow each other from groups follow records and task in charter charter provides instant chat messaging and record sharing as well chatter groups are the main area in chatter where people share information share updates ask question add files add attachments add images whatever they want to add we can also add emoji emojis there and what we can do is that there are certain kinds of uh, polls whatever polls we have to put in our system let's say if we are a group of particular people there who are working in one team 
like that we can have a poll from where we can order the lunch from where we can order the breakfast like that so configuration add features for archiving unlisted groups records in groups as well as in chatter as well so now here what i am doing is that i'll be going to my live demo i'll be make sure you about how to enable chatter settings and how what all what all are the features available in chatter. so here i'm just jumping into my salesforce org so in quick find what i'm typing is chatter settings i'll be hitting on chatter settings there now i can be view i can be able to view every chatting every setting of mine so if i just edit on it so my chatter setting is enabled for now so these are some of the uh, groups we can also modify group settings there are rich link previews and feeds draft post emoticons in feed out of box topics approval post coworker invitation customer invitation everything is there whatever you want according to your business requirement according to your business scenario according to the use case you can be able to add there right from here i'm just setting on save button here now what i'm doing is i'll be going to my chatter tab it's in salesforce lightning chatter is available in lightning as well as classic so i'll be moving to my chatter tab here so now what i am doing is that i'll be telling you guys what all functionality we can be able to perform with the help of chatter that is a very powerful tool right so this is my chatter tab here so now we go here so this is the post we can share the updates directly from here any kind of update we want to share we can bold the line we can uh, italic also we can underline the content also whatever we want we can add the images we can have the code snippets we can add the emojis as well as and we can add the at, at the rate mention people and groups what all men groups and people we have in our platform right what all are using the salesforce so here we go this like this we'll be having the like and like button we can also comment we can also share this like if i hit on the share button i can copy the link share with the groups share with the followers whatever content i want accordingly and here are we can sort it the if i hit on this these are the most recent activity latest post everything i can sort sorted by here and what are the feeds i can also search the feeds directly from here in the search bar i can also filter the feeds i can also refresh the every feed whatever you want to refresh any time so now where i am moving to i'll be moving to poll i can add the questions i can add my choices accordingly so i'll be getting all the polls result directly from here now i'll be going to my questions what can i do there is i can add the question add the details i can also attach up to 10 files to this particular question in salesforce so yes this is the very wonderful functionality we have provided by salesforce right so now what can i do is that there are certain kind of einstein recommendation also if you can enable einstein in your salesforce org so you have to join this group or you have to skip this group you have to follow this person if you have to unfollow this person everything we can be able to maintain so now we'll be going in the left hand side panel so i'll be hitting on to me button there so these are the shares and updates to me like this we can also have the comments we can also have add the post whatever we want directly from here in most of the scenario what can happen some of the time we have to share reports we have to share around some of the information to get the discounts for the customers to the higher authority manager 
what we can do is that we can also create the public groups private groups whatever we want there let's say i'll be having a scenario that in my organization my sales head in the upper hierarchy so under that some of the sales rep are coming if that sales rep have to create the private group so only those members who are associated to that group can have a chance to chat with the sales manager or sales head nobody from the organization can be able to view the group chats or anything like that i'll be going to bookmark now we can also bookmark and bookmark any of our chat any of our post any of our polls as well so this is the company highlights whatever uh, my company highlights are there i can be able to add directly from here if i want to draft anything i can also be able to draft and this is something called chatter streams for that i'll be taking uh, I, uh, this is upcoming in my different session what are chatter streams and how we can create the chatter streams and what we can do with the chatter streams and feeds so in the next video i'll be explaining about these streams now here comes the recent groups what all groups i have created in my organization all those groups i can be able to view there let's say i'll be hitting on the active groups here for chatters so these are some of the active groups i have in my organization let's say for sales strategies reason regional sales stream that is the private group team southeast that is also the private group customer collaboration private with customers we can add different different customers those are the external users we can send directly from there itself again i'll be moving to my chatter home let's say what can i do is that i can be able to open one of the group let's say what i'll be opening global account team that is my private chatter group here what we can do directly from here is that we can manage the profile we can have the engagement directly right from here these are the feed post for last 30 days these are the current memberships this is the summary also there so whatever summary is there accordingly this come here in the engagement we can manage the members directly from here if you want to add any member we can manage from here as well as here we can join the group from here new group members we can be able to add if i want to add it any information i can also be able to add it from here and if i want to i'll be hitting on this drop down menu i can manage the members or i can invite the external people as well so this is all the overview of chatter so guys it's very interesting tool in salesforce and most of our customer are using this functionality regularly so yes in my upcoming sessions what i'll be doing i'll be preparing two more videos in that the major use case business use case and according to that i'll be preparing one demonstration so that you can be able to relate everything for chatter in a very really good understanding so yes thank you very much guys please share like and subscribe my channel this is the very informative session because i'll be explaining from the starting all the minute points of chatter itself that what are the functionality of chatter everything i have covered in this session so thank you